the clouds shining like the sun and the trumpet call let's lift our voice till the jubilee out of zion hills salvation
Desiring Elijah's days. Desiring Elijah's days. If there's anything that the church of Christ needs now, it is the days of Elijah. We need to desire it because everything about God, it is what you desire you get. What you don't desire, you don't receive. That's why Jesus Christ said, Ask, it shall be given. Seek, it shall find. Knock, it shall be opened. If the church is passive about the days of Elijah, they will never experience it. But a church that is always yearning, always desiring the days of Elijah will see the days of Elijah. Today, old time power church will experience the days of Elijah. Look at Malachi chapter 4. I read verse 5 and 6. Malachi 4 verse 5. Behold, I will send you Elijah the prophet before the coming of the great and dreadful day of the Lord. And when he comes, what will happen? He shall turn the heart of the fathers to the children and the heart of the children to their fathers, lest I come and smite the heart, the heart with a curse. The Bible says in Romans chapter 1 verse 18 that the wrath of God is revealed from heaven against all ungodliness and unrighteousness of men who hold the truth in unrighteousness. The wrath of God is looming upon the earth. We need an Elijah. We need the days of Elijah to stay the hand of God. If not in a moment, God will smite the head with a cord. In other words, he will devour the head in his rod because of the evil, the abomination, especially going on in the house of God. And that's why the Bible says in First Peter chapter 4, verse 17, for the time has come that judgment must begin at the house of God. The head today like the day before Elijah appeared on the scene the earth is given to idol worship. It's given to demonizing. It's given to rebellion. It's given to disobedience. It's given to self-will. That is why now man is marrying man. Woman is marrying woman. And there is nothing. It's all government of nations are now making laws. There are some countries they said you can't preach against gay marriage. And so before you finish, they will arrest you. It has come to that that they want to silence the church. And God want to tell the world that I created this world. I created all of you. And I've given you commandment. And you want to tell me that you are bigger than me. Then I will show you what I did to the generation of Noah. I will show you what I did to the generation of Sodom and Gomorrah. But we need a righteous church to stand in the gap. And to say, Lord, let mercy prevail over judgment. And then look at our nation now. Our nation is so endowed and blessed from the north to the south, from the north to the south. The east to the wealth is full of resources, minerals, and wealth. Yet the nation is living in absent poverty. They now say Nigeria is a poverty capital of the world. And now elections have held now yesterday. We don't know the outcome yet. And uh, People want to still come and put us perpetually in bondage 
at the why they and their immediate family and clique are living larger than life life. The common man is always at the end where we are supposed to be enjoying. Take all the oil producing nations of the world. None of them is suffering the way Nigeria is suffering. If you go to those Middle East countries, they are living in affluence and wealth. Yet Nigeria is living in poverty. Because there are demons that have said this nation will not rise, but Nigeria will rise. Unfortunately, the so called church is in agreement with them so that they will be living big and the members they are even using the wealth of the men to even build schools and the members cannot pay then the rich men children are going there the members are now still in public schools there's always the church is creating a dichotomy already between the rich and the poor. So the, the, at the reasoning level of the church, the average church member is low. Why the other ones, they go abroad, they go there, they go there, and then God is looking from heaven. That is why we need a church of power to move and turn the heart of men because it is as God sees repentance that this evil that is coming I tell you there is an evil coming and it's not going to be long it will sweep through Nigeria because Nigeria is strategic in God's end time program and when it sweeps through Nigeria Nigeria to root out Satan and Satanism and essence of Satan except a man like Elijah stand in the gap to say Lord let there be more time Lord stay thy hand of judgment in sort the heaven is set in sort the Lord Jesus his eyes are red now because he, what, have, what has Christ not done for mankind? He sent prophets, they are killing them. He came and took upon the form of his servant, and they even slapped him, abused him, smite him, killed him. What else has he not done? And he has given a long robe, and the long robe is about to cut now. That is why we need. A church of power to cause a repair. What it is that when God is angry with a, a, a land, if he sees repentance, he forgives their sins and does what? Heal the land. Our land need healing. We even in the at the helm of it, we need a man that can come and heal the land of poverty, heal the land of suffering, heal the land so that the land can attain its potentials. So we need the days of Elijah. What are the characteristics of this Eliza's days? What are the marks of Eliza's days? What are the features? What are the things you will see or that represent Eliza's days? Number one is that Eliza's days are days of power. They are days of authority. They are days of fire. When Elijah came to Ahab, he said, Thus saith the Lord, There shall not be dew nor rain this year, but according to my word. And it happened. We need such days. Look at how the psalmist was crying about that kind of days. In Psalm 74, verse 9. Psalm 74, verse 9. Brethren, we should desire, we should yearn, we should plead for the manifestation of the days, for the reality. 
enactment rather of Elijah's days beginning from old time power child and then in the land in the nation and on the earth Psalm 74 verse 9 we see not our signs are we still seeing the signs of yesteryears there's no more any prophets Neither is there among us any that know it how long he was desiring those days. You know, see, even uh, uh, Gideon, the, the angel told Gideon in, in Jude chapter 6, verse 13, the angel told him, He said, The Lord is with thee, thou mighty man of valor. And then Gideon said, We don't want that. A kind of uh, 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 compliment. We need action. We need manifestation. In uh, Judges chapter 6, I read verse 13. And Gideon said unto him, let me read verse 12. And the angel of the Lord appeared unto him. The angel of the Lord will appear to somebody today. And said unto him, The Lord is with thee, thou mighty man of valor. And Gideon said unto him, O oh my Lord, if the Lord be with us, why then is all this befalling us? We need to tell the Lord, why is this befalling this nation? Why is this that Nigeria with all the wealth and endowment is like this? Why is it that the church of Christ is like this? If the Lord be with us, why is all this befalling us? Where be all his miracles which our fathers told us of? Did not the Lord bring us all from Egypt? But now the Lord has forsaken all and delivered us into the hand of the median eyes. And the Lord looked upon him. The Lord will look upon you today and said, Go in this thy mind, and thou shalt save Israel from the hand of the median eyes. Have not I sent thee? The Lord will send you today. The days of Elijah are the days of the revelation of the glory of God upon the land. In Isaiah chapter 40 verse 5. Isaiah chapter 40. They are days of revelation of God's glory. The glory of God need to appear in Nigeria so that the nation will know that Jesus is Lord. In Isaiah 40. I read verse 5. Five, and the glory of the Lord shall be revealed. I say shall be revealed. And all flesh shall see together for the mouth of the Lord has what? Spoken it. Habakkuk chapter 2 in verse 12. Habakkuk chapter 2. We need the days of glory, power, anointing. Habakkuk chapter 2 in verse 14. For the earth shall be filled with the knowledge of the glory of the Lord as the waters cover the sea. The days of Elijah are days of revival. You remember that before Elijah came back, they were halting between two opinions. Nigeria now is halting between two opinions. They don't know whether Christianity is the right way to heaven. Whether it is Islam, whether it is one other path, but the God that answered by fire, let him be my God. When the revival comes, there will be mass conviction. There will be mass conversion. So the days of Elijah are days of mass repentance and acknowledgement of the Lordship of Christ. When 
when the fire fell what did the people say they said the lord he is god we need nigeria to say jesus is lord jesus is lord i have believed it in my heart declare it a lie oh things are pass away my spirit it rejoices to say Jesus is Lord Jesus is Lord we need Nigeria to say Jesus you are Lord and acknowledge him then the days of Eliza are days of dynamic faith you know when Elijah came, he said, There shall be no dew nor rain. He didn't say, God, if I say it and something did not happen. When the woman child died, he said, Give me the child. And he went to the loaf to the upper room. And he prayed and said, God, let the child's soul come back to him again. And he stretched himself upon the child. And the child came back to life. They are the days of faith. The days of Elijah. Days of supernatural signs, wonders, and miracles. They are days of spectacular healing and deliverance. They are days of restoration. What this nation needs is restoration. A time was, I was told, I was young then, but I read that they said the problem of Nigeria is not money. So they now set up Udozi's commission that now increased, recommended increase in salary. And then after that time, the Nigerian Naira was of greater value than the American dollar. And then, Indians used to come and teach in Nigeria, mathematics especially. Indians were teaching in Nigeria. Ghanaians used to come and teach in Nigerian secondary schools. But now, the reverse is the case. We need restoration. Those days, they said, I, I didn't experience those days, that as you are in your final year, companies will come and recruit you. Then as you are just employed, they give you official car. We need those days back in the land. Because Jesus Christ said, when Elijah is come, he will do all. He will restore all things. That you see in uh, Matthew 17 verse 11. The days of Elijah are days of heaven on heart. They are days where believers it's as if they are already in heaven. In your house, in your office, you see heaven. Oh, what a wonderful, wonderful day. Day I will never forget. After that wonder, the darkness away. Jesus, my Savior, I bear. Oh, what a tender, compassionate friend. Amen, the needs of my heart. Shadows, they spell it with joy. I am telling him, made all the darkness depart. Heaven came down and glory filled my soul. When at thy cross the Savior made me whole, my sins were washed away. 
and mine eye was turned to thee. Heaven came down and glory filled my soul. There are days of heaven and earth. There are days of fervent prayers. I keep saying it. We need to go back to those days of prayer. Where every believer is a prayer warrior. Where every family is a, has a prayer altar. Where people don't rely on pastor to address challenges that come their way. We need those days of prayer. Elijah, when he declared to hear that rain is coming, he went and cast himself on the ground. Ground, and he said, uh, head between his knee, and he tarried in prayer. We need the restoration of the power and fire of prayer in the body of Christ in your life. The days of Elijah are also days of judgment of God's enemy. God said, I will be an enemy unto your enemy. You know the bar prophet. That were deceiving the people. After the fire fell, he said, Let hold them, let none escape. And he slew all of them. We need to slay. God will be slain very soon. Most overseers that are deceiving the people using no court powers. And then you see, Bible says. I will cut off witches out of the land. Micah chapter 5 verse, verse 12. So I will cut off. Witches and wizards have done so much havoc on earth. God will be cutting them off as the, the days of Elijah appear. And so that mankind will not be subject to affliction, incantation, enchantment of the devil. You are sleeping and then one power come and be oppressing you. Then from nowhere things begin to turn around. All those things must be terminated in the land, on the head, in your life and in your home. But how are you going to partake of these days? The Bible says that repents in Acts chapter 3. I read verse 19 to 21. Acts chapter 3. We need to repent. If my people shall call by my name, shall humble themselves, seek my faith, turn from their wicked ways, I will do what? I will hear from heaven and forgive their sins and I will heal their land. Acts chapter 3, 19. Repent ye therefore and be converted that your sins may be blotted out. When the times of refreshing shall come from the presence of the Lord. Verse 21. Whom the heaven will receive until the restoration of all things, which God has spoken by the mouth of his holy prophets since the world began. We need also to live a righteous life. We need to be obedient to the Lord. We need to be consecrated to him. We need to desire those things. Pray fervently and believe. Do we have promise of those days? Yes. That is what we read in our text. God said, I will send Eliza. That is a promise. And God cannot lie. What you and I need to do is to meet the terms and desire and say, Lord, we had waited so long as a church. The church is founded on the promise of power and revival. We need to pray and say, Lord, the hour has come. Show forth your power. Show your power. Oh, Lord, our God, send your fire. Oh, Lord, our God, oh, Lord, our God, right on. The gospel, oh, Lord, is the hope for a nation. You are the Lord. 
who is like unto thee in heaven and hell oh you are the Lord send your power oh Lord our God show your power oh Lord our God oh Lord our God thank the Lord and say Lord we need this power now the hour has come reign the heavens we need the days of Eliza Oh Lord, I pray they say, let them be revealed in your child. Let them be revealed in my life. Let them be revealed in the land. Let them be revealed in Nigeria. Let them be revealed in Africa. Let them be revealed in Europe. Let them be revealed in America. Let them be revealed in Asia. Let them be revealed in the Middle East. Let them be revealed upon the Old hell, pray and say, Lord, send your fire, send your power. Oh Lord, come down, manifest your power. The power has come, glorify your name now. Fill me with fire, where was I Days are days of fire. You can't afford to be living in cold, Christella. We fear me with fire. Where I be?
raise up. Release your fire upon them, O Lord. If endue them with your fire and power from the crown of their head to the sole of their feet, receive the fire, receive the power in the mighty name of Jesus. It is on. Fire is released upon the church today, and the church will not remain the same again. The fire is released upon your life today, your life will not remain the same. The Holy Spirit came at Pentecost, He came in mighty fullness. Witness to believers, one the Lord, and my sisters have one.